Dear Patriots, before the news starts, please, subscribe to our patriotic channel by clicking the subscribe button. Give us a thumbs up to this video. Don't forget to leave your opinion below in the comments section. Share the news on Facebook and Twitter so you friends see it. Thank you. Another PR mayor just exposed San Juan mayor's darkest secret and the press won't touch it. A Puerto Rican mayor has rushed to President Trump's defense on Sunday after San Juan Mayor Carmen Ewell and Cruz's vicious media attack on the president, the Washington Examiner reports. President Trump made headlines this week after accusing the mayor of San Juan, Puerto Rico, of poor leadership in the wake of Hurricane Maria. The mayor, Carmen Ewell Cruz, attacked the president and said he was doing badly in the relief effort, saying, in part, We are dying, and you are killing us with the inefficiency and the bureaucracy. A media firestorm ensued, with the president being called all manner of vile things like racist, sexist, lazy, incompetent, or more often, a combination thereof. Now, however, more evidence is coming to light that the San Juan mayor may not be all that she seems. Neighboring Mayor Angel Perez Otero praised the president and slammed Cruz for playing politics and not actually participating in the relief effort like other mayors are. Otero mentioned that while he and other mayors have attended meetings with FEMA and U.S. military officials, Cruz has not. That's right people, Cruz is apparently going around to the press and complaining about President Trump not helping when she's not even going to meetings or getting involved in the federal relief effort. Otero went on to say that he has not experienced the bureaucratic shortfalls and non-action that Cruz had earlier complained about to the press. He said that White House officials have promised that FEMA and the military won't leave until Puerto Rico is good. He continued, saying that although they are still in need of aid and there is still a lot left to do, we are receiving a lot of help from FEMA and the Red Cross. There is lots of help coming to us. There you have it folks more and more evidence keeps piling up that this San Juan mayor isn't all she's cracked up to be. But you'll never hear about this in the mainstream media. That's right. Nothing. So that's why it's up to us to spread the message far and wide so people know what's really happening in Puerto Rico. H.T. Washington Examiner President Trump just grabbed the microphone and said one thing about Puerto Rico media won't say. The media may want you to think that President Trump has forgotten about the people in Puerto Rico and the other hurricane victims, but what he just did proves he is thinking about them nonstop. As he presented the trophy to U.S. Captain Steve Strickler following the President's Cup golf tournament in New Jersey, the President made a declaration that shocked the crowd. President Trump dedicated the trophy to the victims of the terrible recent hurricanes, specifically Texas, Florida, and Puerto Rico. In case you had trouble hearing it, President Trump told the crowd. On behalf of all of the people of Texas, and all of the people, if you look today and see what is happening, how horrible it is but we have it under really great control, Puerto Rico and the people of Florida who have really suffered over this last short period of time with the hurricanes, I want to just remember them. And we're going to dedicate this trophy to all of those people that went through so much that we all love, a part of our great state, really part of our great nation. Look, the president may be doing his duties on the golf course, but clearly, he is working nonstop. Puerto Rico is a tough situation since they are an island without active roads, making cleanup tough and transportation impossible in some places. Still, they are Americans and President Trump cares about the people of our great country and is doing everything in his power to help them out. Help get this out and show people that the President does really care. Shots fired if Jason Chaffetz is right, then Jeff Sessions should be fired immediately. Jason Chaffetz just went nuts on Judge Jeanine Pirro's show Saturday night and dropped a huge bombshell about Jeff Sessions. This is huge. Look what Jason Chaffetz said about Jeff Sessions. Apparently, Jeff Sessions refuses to prosecute Hillary Clinton's crimes. Judge Jeanine, 
I want to know one thing and I want to know this from my audience, for the Janine audience, I'll call them the Janine audience, okay? I'm a prosecutor. I was a judge. I did this for 30 years. I know how to put a case together and all that stuff. Barack Obama and his administration did things that if we did we'd all be in jail right now. Now the Republicans are in power and I am not suggesting that the party has anything to do with it, but when we see blatant obstruction of justice like we have seen in the Obama administration, example, when you've got Eric Holder committing perjury and being held in contempt, you were head of government oversight and reform, correct? You guys held him in contempt, yes or no? Chaffetz, yes, yes. Judge Janine, okay, why is he not being charged with a crime? Chaffetz, I can tell you that while I was in Congress and the chairman of the Oversight Committee, I did go over and visit with Attorney General Sessions and it was one of the most frustrating discussions I had because whether it was the IRS, Fast and Furious, the email scandal that we went through, I did not see the Attorney General willing to just let Lady Justice administer justice and then follow through. I understood maybe the last six months of the Obama administration. Judge Janine, wait a minute I don't have that much time. You spoke with Sessions on IRS, Fast and Furious. Did he give you a reason? Did he say he was presenting anything to a grand jury? Yes or no? Chaffetz, no. He basically let me know he wasn't going to pursue anything on the major cases. Judge Janine, so IRS, on the major cases? Are we talking about Hillary Clinton, because I haven't even gotten to her yet? Chaffetz, yes, the email scandal of Hillary Clinton. We had Brian Pagliano. I issued a subpoena for him to appear before the committee and he said no. He didn't even show up. We issued another subpoena. The U.S. Marshals served it. And you know in my world, if you're in court, I guarantee you that a subpoena is not an optional activity. We wanted the Attorney General to prosecute him and he said no. Share this to show the world what Jeff Sessions is doing to block our president from cleaning the swamp. If Jason Chaffetz is right, then Jeff Sessions should be fired. Football star Marshawn Lynch just caught wearing despicable shirt that Trump's gonna hate. The star running back of the Oakland Raiders, Marshawn Lynch, just found a whole new way to go after President Donald Trump today. Instead of doing the respectable thing and keeping it non-political, Lynch showed up to the Raiders Broncos game today wearing a brand new t-shirt that read everyone versus Trump. The notion that everyone is against the president is absolutely ludicrous. In fact, you could say it's really just the media and celebrities that are against him. The rest of us use common sense. To make it even worse, Lynch has been sitting for the national anthem all season. Not kneeling, sitting. He has not given a reason for sitting, but if it's in protest it is way more insulting than kneeling could ever be. Clearly this sports star, this adult man shows zero respect for the president or the nation. That is disgusting and sad. He should lose his job for how flagrantly he acts about it. That being said, as an American. Despite all of this, we know how important the Constitution is to America. The establishment wants you to give that up. Dems want to push us to give up our love of the First Amendment by trying to offend us. Ha! It will never work. We will not fight back with force, we will fight back by being louder and forcing them to either stand or stop playing football. We are capitalists and it's our choice. Backstabbers watched the 49ers do something shameful when National Anthem played today. Members of the San Francisco 49ers chose to kneel with his hands over their hearts during the National Anthem game at the Arizona Cardinals at University of Phoenix Stadium. Some 49ers players stood behind the players during the anthem. Sunday is the very first NFL game for the 49ers this season after Trump made his comment that NFL players that didn't stand for the anthem should be fired. The 49ers coach Kyle Shanahan said that his team would be doing something during Sunday's anthem. Most of the teams didn't kneel for the anthem today, 
According to ABC 15, it seems Trump has won today. Get this out there you think that it's time for Americans to get back to watching football teams that stand for our national anthem. God bless this great question.